hello friends good to see you again through this video today today i wanted to talk about an important question this is the question i wanted to share why do we face complicated situations in our life you know if you ask any person in this world that whether you have faced a complicated situation in your life definitely everybody will say yes at some point of time in my life i have faced a complicated situation where i was not sure you know how i am going to take the step forward because there were so many questions running in my mind and i don't know what is the right way to go and how i can take the step forward and how i am going to you know step into my future there will be a lot of these kind of questions and complications that everybody goes through in their life so why do we need to face such kind of a situation is my question today because you know you know my context about this question is all about when you follow the direction of the lord right like you know when you are in when you are uh, obeying the voice of the lord and whatever the direction that he is showing to you you are able to follow that and you are going according to his will so even when you are going according to the will of god or you are being uh, favored by the lord so why do we still need to face a complicated situation or situation that looks like you know very daunting for us to overcome right so that is what i wanted to share from one person's life in the book of uh, uh, in, in the gospel of luke chapter 1 there we see about mary right like mary mother of jesus christ you know at that point of time she was just betrothed to joseph and they are they were about to get married right so if you read uh, the the first chapter of luke uh, if you look at the verse uh, 28 right so 28 this is how it goes when mary was alone at her home there appeared an angel and the angel said to her greetings o favored one the lord is with you you know if you look at the entry of the angel right like the way he pronounced that blessing he says mary was a favored one like you know mary had the favor of the lord and she was highly favored and and he told the lord is with you right so for that kind of a person now comes a challenge now comes a complicated situation so what is the situation if you read uh, you know uh, if you read in the next uh, verse like you know in verse 31 it says and behold you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall call his name jesus see just imagine if this has happened after mary and joseph had married right then it's kind of normal you know mary doesn't have any complication about that situation because you know she has husband and like you know people will 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 think okay it is their child and you know it is it is a normal thing right like you know but what is more special like you know what is the complication here is even before mary was you know getting into marriage right even before she knew her husband it is at that point of time the lord is telling this uh, important thing that she is going to be pregnant she is going to get uh, give birth to uh, the son son and uh, he is going to be jesus christ right so that is where my dear friends we need to understand you know when when you and i we feel that we are also highly favored i know we have the grace of the lord we have god's uh, you know grace and strength we have the favor of the lord you know the the perspective that you and i we need to have is the grace of the lord is given to us to accomplish some greater things to accomplish some things which seems very complicated from the worldly point of view that is what we need to understand because you know the grace of the lord is just simply not to just lead our normal life but there will be certain things which the lord will try to accomplish through our life that may look very daunting you know that may look like kind of extraordinary or it may look even like uncommon to the world but god has given that grace the specific grace for you and me so that we can able to do that for his glory and the, and the you know and, and lord will help us and he will strengthen us to do that thing for his glory right because now what happens as soon as she he- hears it now she is thinking about the complications right like because you know in those days 
for mary to get pregnant before knowing her husband before in getting into a marriage it is like a great sin like you know and people can stone her to death and like uh, they can even like uh, chase her out of her home and there are a lot of things that could have happened you know what would have done you know what would have happened if joseph had uh, disowned her like you know he wants to divorce her or like uh, the relatives are going to you know bad mouth her about the situation so just think about the situation or the complications that mary would have felt on that day when she received that great assignment right like you know that she is going to bear you know the the son of god you know the messiah of the world so the same way today we may be also fearful and we may be also in a complicated situation you know we may be thinking the lord was with us you know his hand was with us we are walking in his direction but why lord why am i in this kind of a situation why have you let me in this kind of a complicated situation that i cannot understand and how it is going to happen the same kind of fear can you know be within us also right and that is what she is asking and mary said to the angel how will it how is this possible since i am a virgin you know i i haven't even slept with a man i'm just a virgin like and how is this possible so the same question we can also ask right you know lord you have given me an assignment or you have given me something in my hand which is beyond my ability or which is something you know which i cannot do uh, with the resources that i have so how am i going to accomplish this the same kind of question can happen in our life too and that is where the answer is coming the angel answered her if you read in the luke chapter 1 verse 35 it says like this the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born will be called holy the son of god see the lord is giving us a very clear answer you know when you and i we become confused you know we become like you know we think that our situation is complicated because we are running out of resources or we are running out of our strength or we are running out of ideas or whatever it, we feel like you know uh, we, we we don't have the adequacy to complete right the lord says the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you and that is what paul writes right like if you read the second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 he, you know when when paul asks about his weakness to the lord is you know he is asking the lord right like you know lord i have this weakness you know i have this limitation and uh, why can't you remove this you know the lord is saying my grace will be sufficient for you and in your weakness my strength will be made perfect you know my dear friends sometimes the complicated situations the complications that we think which is going to affect us in the future or which is going to you know pull us down are the same you know uh, god will use the same things to bless us you know to pull us, to to put us ahead or to to give us a great future and that is what happened to mary right because mary accepted it because the next verse says if you read in uh, luke chapter 1 uh, um, 37 the angel said for nothing will be impossible with god so the moment the angel said that right mary submitted herself right yeah, that verse 38 says behold i am the servant of the lord let it be to me according to your word so today we need to understand that everything is possible with the lord when god asks you you want me to do something he is the one who is going to strengthen us he is going to want to you know prevail over the circumstances that come against us because through his power he will accomplish his plan and purpose in our life so that is why we need to surrender our lives as mary did that day and saying lord i don't understand this complications i don't know how i am going to manage it but i believe in your word because everything is possible with you and nothing is impossible for you so we believe that you are the one who is going to strengthen me so i submit myself and let it happen according to your word you know when you and i we submit that way you know what happens the same complicated situation it becomes a time of blessing in our life and that's what happened to mary right because she endured it because she went through that you know she has honor like you know she had the honor of you know giving birth to the messiah of the world right and that's a great honor and privilege and that is why god called her you are highly favored and you are blessed among all women 
so today my dear friends you and i when we also go through this complicated situations you now let's submit ourselves to the lord let's let's know for this sure that the holy spirit is always with us and the power of the lord is always there to strengthen us and to help us and to guide us to accomplish whatever he has called us to do may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you